Hey, Barbara Miller here with Cycling Strong. We're here at Rebecca's Private Idaho, and we happen to be with the most amazing winner, Burke. Now, I got to meet Burke some time ago, and we've had a cool relationship. This guy is, in fact, he's a lot like Rebecca, if I was going to give an example. I think he's one of these guys that gives back to the community so much, puts on amazing events, but most of all, He's just down to earth and willing to talk to people and help people as much as he can. I mean, if I send him a Facebook message, he's never not got back to me and really helped me out. And I really appreciate that. Thanks, Burke. I appreciate the, the kudos there. Yeah, it no, it's really, it's, it's the truth. And so, Burke, tell us a little bit about you, and then I've got a couple of fun questions I'm going to ask you and kind of put okay. you on the spot. All right, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, my name's Burke Swindlehurst. I grew up uh, born and raised in Utah. Um, raced for 25 years, uh, 15 years professionally, uh, rode in mountain bikes, and uh, retired in 2010 from bike racing and then started putting on my own cycling event, the Crusher and the Tusher. And uh, you know, bikes, bikes are my life and my passion and they're basically what gets me up in the morning. And it does. And, and, th and that's the cool part about his event. If you haven't been to his event or seen his page, go to that. We'll put a link right here for you. Go check it out. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't. Don't go to his YouTube channel. Stay on our YouTube channel, but go check his website out afterwards. So uh, we'll put the link for the website on there and uh, check that out. But Burke, I like to ask these questions because we're at a different level when I mean us. I mean, I'm not a pro cyclist. I have four kids. Yep. I run companies. I do all that kind of fun stuff. Yep. And I know that you do the same. But during the, can you give us, if you were to give, like if I had 30 days, right, mm -hmm. to prepare for an event. Yep. And the reason I ask this is because I want you to get really specific for me. Okay. What's the one thing that I could not not do to get ready for that event? Rest. I think, uh, I think one thing that people, especially under time crunch, will do is they'll overtrain and they'll show up to an event you know, their training will be going good, they'll be feeling really good in training, and instead of kind of backing it off once they start to feel good, they keep going and pushing the envelope and they show up to the event um, fatigued and, and just without the same amount of enthusiasm that they might have had had they built some rest into their, their program. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I've tried the rest thing quite a bit. Like, yep. I, I come to an event and I think, okay, I so a week out I start relaxing a little bit and not riding as much, and so I've kind of done this system of, like two weeks prior, I cut my week, my rides in half, yep. and then week of, I kind of cut them down into half of that, right. and then kind of rest along that and keep yeah, my yeah. nutrition and stuff like that. But I seem to perform worse. When I ride really hard and I come up to an event, mm -hmm. and what I mean by hard, I, I just stay on the same path and I keep pushing, I seem to, I seem to do better. But I, I don't know if it's because I'm doing it wrong, if I'm not doing my nutrition right. I mean, and, and you don't have to answer that, but I'm saying yeah. that's what str I, a struggle I have. Well, you know, every every human being is different and sure. respond to stimulus different, but um, it's not necessarily rest leading up to the event, it's rest during your preparation. So, you know, weekly rest, like, you know, if you wake up one day and you're, you're just feeling extremely fatigued, let's say you're, you know, you're two weeks into your, your 30 day program, right. you know, don't be afraid to just, you know what, I'm going to go out for, I'm going to go walk the dogs, I'm not gotcha. going to ride my bike. Gotcha. Um, uh, sp specifically addressing what you were talking about, cutting down as you get closer to the event. Yeah. That's, you know, like you said, that doesn't work for everybody. Some people do need to stay on the gas. Me personally, I, I needed to, as I, as I got closer to the event, I would actually ramp up the intensity because uh, there's a term called, you know, staying open and opened up. Um, if, I, if I tapered too much, I'd get to an event and I'd be flat, and then the next day I'd feel great after right. the event. Right. So I do think it's important to, you know, especially as you get closer to the event, to go out and do those opening and, and harder efforts to kind of get yourself at race pace and, and ready for the stimulus that the race is going to be throwing at you, but it's it's that preparation from start to finish where I think you do need to build in the rest days. Very cool. Okay, good. The other thing I'd ask you is nutrition. Is there one nutritional thing that you would suggest that you know that you just would always a staple for you, or that you did, or something that made a difference in the nutrition aspect? Yeah, I would say the biggest thing that that I also see with cyclists is they starve themselves and they, they don't eat enough because you know they're worried about losing weight or you know maintaining race weight and stuff so they they end up not giving themselves enough nutrition during the training so that they can actually go out and do a quality workout um, so I would say err on the side of caution in terms of you know I would I would prefer to eat too much than eat too little good to know yep. okay so if you have any questions for Burke make sure you comment below and I'll make sure Burke gets this video so that he can respond to those things if you 
would you respond to him? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Uh, he's always responded to me. That's why I'm asking. I, I don't want you to put him on the spot. If not, I'll do the best I possibly can to get back to you. Please give us your URL for your, for your uh, it, So it's www.tushercrusher, that's T-U-S-H-A-R, crusher.com. Awesome. Check that event out. If you're not, well, I don't know when registration opens. I remember because I always get this email at the, yeah. the time period. But yep. When is it open? It'll be opening mid-January. Mid-January. And it goes, it sells out fast. So make sure you're on the gas. Get on there. Watch for that to come out there. Go support, support this kind of event because Burke puts his, I mean, he puts a lot behind this. I mean, if you, if you go follow that on Facebook, you'll see all the cool posts he does. And uh, it's, just, it's just a really cool event to be a part of. So thanks for your time today. Thank you, Bart. I appreciate it. We really appreciate it, too. And keep cycling strong. If you have any questions, once again, post below. Become part of the community. Talk to you soon.